hello guys today i'm going to be showing you how to run a regression analysis while using eview package 10. Uh, so first of all you need to have this eview software on your computer and when you have it uh when you when you open the eview it will show this window right here and the first thing you are going to do is uh create a new eview work file so we are going to click on that to create a new EV work file for the purpose of this tutorial video we are going to be running a time series uh, data so under the work file structure type we have a uh, unstructured slash undated which is for cross-sectional data and for uh, for this regular frequency it's for time series and as well balance panel which is for panel data so we are just going to use dated regular frequency since we are running a uh, time series data on under frequency here uh, we have uh, diff a lot of uh, different uh, 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 maybe your data is in annual semi annual quarterly and so on and so forth for, but for this video we are going to be using annual because the data I have is in uh, uh, is in annual so the start dates and the end dates the start date is for uh, the day the day you started collecting the data and the end date the year in which you stop collecting the data so for this we are just let me just use 2010 and for the end dates 2021 then you can name your work file here but let's just go directly to what we want to do so you click on ok now you have a new work file let me drag this one out here. This is the new work file right here. But double clicking it, it will bring you, it will, this window will pop up and this is the work file, but the issue is that we can't actually edit this work file like this. So we are just going to close it. To edit this particular work file, you go to quick and click on empty group edit series so as to enable, enable us to uh to edit this particular work file so for the purpose of this tutorial video i have some data available in in my excel sheets so we we'll just go directly to excel to copy the data i have data on external debt inflation and population so in which we so we we'll just copy this one after the other Control c then go back to e view then from here you drag down to 2021 then ctrl v we do the same thing for the rest of the for the rest of the data ctrl c and paste the same thing for population and paste so now that we have this work file ready for estimation to estimate this data now what we are going to do is that we are going to head on to quick again then click on estimation before i estimate this equation there are two different methods in which you can command this uh if you to estimate equation for you we can either use the command excuse me you can either use the command by typing some command and the result of this the result of the estimation will just pop up but for the purpose of this uh, video let's just use the normal one so we click on quick again then click on estimate equation so for this uh for this video we are going to be assuming that our external debt right here is our dependent variable and inflation and population are the independent variable so we need to make our equation look like this so what i'm going to do is that you type the dependent variable first which is exd then you leave a space bring in the constant which is c leave another space then after this c all the independent variable can now fall in so we can now say inf another space then pop so on that method we have a lot of method but for this video we are going to be using the least square method which is the OLS 
there are other method you can try we have the ARDL and so on and so forth so let's just click on the least square method and the sample size is already been given because from 2010 to 2021 so we just click on ok then there you go this is our regression analysis results so that's how you run a regression uh, <coughs> analysis uh, analysis on your eview package please be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel video for more videos like this and uh, like my video and in my next video i'll be telling you how to to interpret this data right here the regression analysis results how to interpret it so thank you